Hey, what's up, you guys? WWE Fan 0599 here again, and today we're going to review The Neon Demon. So, The Neon Demon stars Al Fanning, Jenna Malone, Bella Hotcoat, uh, Abby Lee, Christina Hendricks, and Keanu Reeves. And what this film is about, it's about when this aspiring model named Jessie moves to LA. And, you know, she, everyone takes notice of her. Everyone, you know, sees her as, like, this gorgeous, you know, diamond. Like, this special thing. This, like, rare thing. And they're, the other models are basically jealous of her. And now these models want, basically, her good looks. They want what she has. So, yeah. So, what did I think of the Neon Demon? Now, Nicholas Winding Refn, he is a very mixed director with me. He's he's mixed with me. I mean, I love his movie, Bronson. Bronson is an absolutely fantastic movie. I love Bronson. Bronson is such a great movie. And, okay, is it mostly due to Tom Hardy's absolutely, like, mind-blowing performance? Absolutely. Absolutely, honestly. But he also did a great job directing that movie as well. He really did. He did a great job with the directing with that film. Uh, Drive, I like, but I don't love it as much as most people do. I think it gets a little bit overpraised, but I still like the movie. It's still a good movie. But only God forgives. Yeah, that was bad. Now, th with the Neon Demon, I was actually, I had some sort of interest in it. Because it actually looked cool, and I actually thought, you know, it had a really cool premise behind it. I was like, you know what, this actually seems cool. I think I might get into this. However, the Neon Demon is a big old pile of garbage. This movie, holy moly, this movie is complete and other horse manure. This movie is awful. Holy moly. This movie is nothing more than just an artsy, pretentious piece of garbage. Seriously, this movie is awful. Now, the only positive that I have with this movie, literally, the only positive I have with this movie is the soundtrack. The soundtrack is actually really great with this movie. I thought the soundtrack was great to the Neon Demon. This this movie had a great soundtrack, in my opinion. I do love the soundtrack with this movie. I thought the music fit with a lot of the scenes it was presented in, and, you know, I just love the music. The music was absolutely great with this movie. Like I said, that's the only positive I can give this movie, because everything else I hated about this movie. So, let's just jump straight into the negatives, because my negatives are, first being, the acting with this movie. The acting is absolutely atrocious with this film. Seriously, I don't get what t people saw in this acting. People said this was good acting. How? Th everybody in this movie acts like an emotionless, bland robot. That's... Really, seriously, every character acts like that in this movie. An emotionless, bland robot. Elle Fanning, who I actually really like as an actress, who I actually really like as an actress, she's great, you know? But all she does in this movie, literally, this is all she talks like. She just talks like this throughout the entire movie. Hi, I'm Jesse. I want to be a model. Like, literally, that's all she does in the movie. She talks like a bland, emotionless robot. Really, that's all she talks like throughout the entire film. And I just didn't care about her or her character in this movie. Jenna Malone, once again, just acts like a bland, emotionless robot. Seriously. And her character is absolutely awful in this movie. She was terrible. Bella Hadko, or however you say her last name, terrible. Seriously, terrible. Abby Lee, terrible. Bo both of them are awful in this movie. Christina Hendricks, she's not even in the movie all that much, so I can't even really judge her all that much with the film, because literally, she's only in one scene. She's fine for what she was in that scene, and I guess, but Keanu Reeves, everyone knows I love Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves is one of my favorite actors of all time. However, dude, what are you doing? Seriously. First, knock, knock, and now this. I hated his character in this movie. His character 
was just an obnoxious jerk. Really. If you just really want to think about it, his character is just an obnoxious jerk. And I hated him in this movie. He was awful in this film. The, the so-called, like, shock value that this movie tries to present to you, the shock value, it's just shock value for the sake of shock value. It, it, it adds nothing to the story. It literally is just shock value for the sake of shock value. You know? Although I'm not a fan of the film, I'll at least give Green Room this. At least the violence in that movie, it actually contributed to the story. It actually was, there was a reason for it. In this movie, there's no reason why the violence is there. It's just violence for the sake of violence. It's shock value for the sake of shock value. Literally, this was me during all those shocking moments that everybody was talking about. Like, oh, it's so shocking and so disturbing. This was my face. Okay? Okay. Like, literally, I had a bland, express, like, bland, emotionless face when those uh, shocking moments happened because they were just shock value for the sake of shock value. This movie makes no complete sense. Literally, this movie makes no sense. No sense whatsoever. Literally, stuff just happens from out of nowhere in this movie. Literally, there's one scene... I'll just say this, it involves a mountain lion, literally, it's just out of the blue, it's out of the blue that scene, literally, and they don't even talk about it for the rest of the movie, it's just out of the blue, like, stuff just happens in this movie, literally, from out of nowhere, stuff will just happen, seriously, this movie makes no sense at all, and all those, like, pretentious shots and all that, like, the stuff with the camera work and all, this photography and stuff. Really, I could not roll my eyes further back into my skull. They are so pretentious and so artsy and trying so hard to be smart. Seriously, it was grinding my gears of how much they were just trying to be an artsy, pretentious, smart movie. Really, it was terrible in this movie. Literally, there was one shot in this movie where literally the thing looked like the um, Lynx Triforce, uh, Triangle Triforce. I'm serious, an upside down Link Triangle Triforce. Literally, there's one thing in this movie that looks like that. Oh man. And the writing with this movie, the writing is absolutely atrocious with this film. This writing is awful. Seriously, the writing is awful with this movie. The directing is awful. I'm sorry. I know some people thought the directing was good with this movie. Sorry. The, the directing's absolute trash with this film. I hated the directing with this movie. Nicholas Ryan Reppin did an awful job directing this film. The pacing. Man, is this movie boring. This movie is so, so boring. Honestly, I almost fell asleep a lot during this film. This movie is just so utterly boring. And last, but certainly not least, the ending to this movie. Now, of course, no spoilers, but I'm going to just say this. What? What? Literally, the ending makes no sense at all in this movie. And it just, it's one of the worst endings of the year. Maybe the worst. I had to really think about that. But seriously, the ending is awful to this movie. For one, it ends abruptly, and two, it makes no complete sense. So guys, The Neon Demon, without a doubt, is one of the worst movies of 2016. It is an absolute abomination against humanity. It is an awful, awful film. So, bleh, sorry, something, bleh. so it's time for my official grade on the, you see what this movie is doing to me? So it's time for my official grade on the Neon Demon, and my official grade on the Neon Demon is a D-. minus. The only reason I can't give this an F is because, like I said, the soundtrack was actually great to this movie. And I do love the soundtrack with the film, and it's literally the only thing I like with this movie. So it boosts the grade a little bit higher up. So it gets a D-. minus. It's still an awful film. So, what did you guys think of the Neon Demon? Leave it in the comment section below. And I'm WWE Fan 0599, and we'll see you all later. Peace.